discuss about the causes of vomiting with mnemonics. When a patient presents to you with the symptoms of nausea and vomiting, you should keep these things in your mind. So your differential diagnosis will be based on this mnemonic and it's very easy to remember. The mnemonic starts from A, B, C, D, E and F. A for abdominal causes. Now in abdominal causes, you can further divide it into gastric causes and extra gastric causes. Gastric causes like gastritis, food poisoning, then pyloric stenosis. These are the gastric causes. Now apart from stomach, extra gastric causes like uh, involvement of liver in case of viral hepatitis. You can see severe nausea and vomiting. Then there are conditions like appendicitis. Appendicitis can cause pain induced vomiting also. Then other organs like kidney, renal stones, gallbladder stones like biliary colic, renal stones ca causing renal colic. Then intestinal causes like intestinal obstruction. So these are the abdominal causes of vomiting. Next, B4 causes related to brain. Now what are the causes? Like uh, if there is raised intracranial pressure, that can lead to vomiting. If there is any space occupying lesion, which can uh, cause the raised intracranial pressure, and uh, again, it will cause vomiting. Then if there is any sudden, suppose a uh, cerebrovascular accident, sudden trauma, which causes intracranial bleed, again causing intracranial pressure increase and causing vomiting. Then if there is any tumor or space occupying lesion, that can cause raised intracranial pressure. And in case of many years disease, Many disease you have studied in ENT, I think. So this many disease can also cause vomiting. So these are the brain related and again meningitis. Meningitis is another uh, condition which can induce vomiting. Next, C4, cardiac causes. Causes related to heart like MI, myocardial infarction. Then CHF, congestive heart failure. These things can induce vomiting. Next comes drugs. Drugs like digitalis or epicacuana. These are the agents which can cause vomiting. Then next, E4, endocrine or metabolic causes. Endocrine causes like pregnancy, in which the beta ACG level is high, can cause morning sickness in pregnancy. Then metabolic causes like diabetic ketoacidosis, which can again cause vomiting. Then comes all the functional causes. Now these functional causes we can divide it, we can divide them as P R O or pro. P for pain induced, like peptic ulcer or acute appendicitis. R for reflex vomiting, like due to meningitis or uremia which can again can be classified as metabolic cause like uh, diabetic ketoacidosis this is also a metabolic cause now next comes the obstructive causes like intestinal obstruction or esophageal obstruction even pyloric stenosis which is a abdominal cause we have discussed that there and uh, this pyloric stenosis can also cause obstruction and in indeed cause vomiting so these are the causes of vomiting that you should keep in mind when uh, examining a patient with who presents with vomiting to you and uh, you have to reach your diagnosis with this mnemonic. Thank you for watching.